so today's video is going to be my January favorites. Uh, this is going to be late as I had some computer issues last week, or I guess it, when this is up it might be two weeks. Um, so I'm really sorry about that. So everything is going to be a little bit pushed ahead, um, a little bit behind this month as we had, I had some computer issues. Also, having a really bad hair day today. Don't really understand why I have to have bad hair days on video days, but my hair is just not doing what I want it to do. It's just, it's annoying. I'm sorry it looks like crap, but it does and I can't do much about it. <laughs> Let's get started on this video. I, as usual, start with beauty, go into... Um, I have a few song favorites, I have a, a game favorite, I have a little bit of a random favorite, a candle favorite, food, and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's get into it. Beauty favorite here. Um, a lot of this stuff is quite new and you guys have not seen it in my videos before. Um, not be like anything that I got for, my Christ for Christmas, some of these, some of the things might be in there or in this from that, uh, but some stuff I've gotten with like gift cards and stuff like that from Christmas from Christmas and my birthday. Um, there will be a gift card haul. I just haven't used them all yet. Um, and once I've kind of accumulated enough, I will show you. However, there are a few things that I have recently picked up in January that I really, really enjoyed in January. And I want to show you, even though you guys really have no idea that I own these yet. But anyways, this is one of them. These are the e.l.f. Uh, flawless eyeshadow quads or palettes or whatever you want to call these. Here they are right here. These are very, very pretty, very pigmented colors. I've worn these two in videos. Um, I really like the blue one. I think the blue one is going to be awesome for summer. Let me uh, show them individually here so you don't get the Really, glare. really pretty. I think it's going to be really nice colors for um, for summer. Um, I did wear them recently though and I because sometimes when I wear blue I like to wear a bit of blue on my eyelids but it's really really pretty. They are very pigmented. They're very nice colors. Um, they're not chalky or uh, they don't have a lot of like um, fallout. They are pretty good for not having that. Um, and they're really pretty. Like I really like wearing blues on my eyes so I thought this was a very nice little palette type of thing. This is the other one that I've worn. Oh, this, by the way, the blue one is called Sea Escape, if you're interested. And this is uh, called Smoky, and these are like your typical smoky eye type colors. There's like a black, a dark gray, a light gray, and a white. Um, very pretty. Also, also did wear this one in a video too. Um, and again, great colors. Uh, pigmented, very nice. I love e.l.f. I love e.l.f.'s eyeshadows. As you guys know, I own a big palette um, of e.l.f.'s eyeshadows. Um, this is this is uh, called Tantalizing Taupe. This one I have not used yet, but I am excited to use because I kind of really like the brownie nude looks. Um, I've been wearing that a lot in the past couple. Oh, but yeah, this is really pretty. I'm excited to wear this one as well. Um, and there are shimmer shades as well as matte shades. There's kind of a mixture of both, uh, which is kind of nice. I like to mix up my sparklies and my mattes sometimes. Um, so yeah, I really like those and they're really great eyeshadows. Like I said, I love e.l.f. I love e.l.f.'s eyeshadows. So when I saw those, I thought that would be interesting. I really love the baked eyeshadows, but saw those. They are fairly new. I do believe they came out maybe after Christmas, just after Christmas, possibly. I'm not 100% sure, but they are really, really nice if you're looking for um, something for maybe just one look for traveling or just in general too. I mean, I don't know. Some people I know don't like having a whole bunch of like little random palettes, but I don't mind that. It doesn't really bother me and I'm not going to go around depotting everything because I just find that to be a waste of time when I have not much time, especially right now. I am working really hard on baby shower stuff for my brother and his girlfriend, um, and obviously still working, and as well as trying to film videos for you guys, and I had some computer issues, which was really annoying, so uh, everything's just been kind of crazy in January, and probably will continue up until the baby's born in May, I would presume. So anyways continue on with my favorites here. The next one is something I actually really, really loved in January. I was really happy that this turned out well. Um, I bought this not really 
like super excited about it. I was kind of a little bit skeptical of it. Um, but now that I've bought it and I've really, I've used it, I actually really, really like it. This is the e.l.f. HD mattifying balm. It's just a simple round packaging and it's not really that interesting to look at. I tried to clean it up a little bit because it is a little bit messy, um, but it, here it is. It's just like a white creamy like substance. Um, it's more, I guess, of like a serum than I get, like a cream, but it's to, it's supposed to, it does to um, mattify your skin. And if you are really oily like I am, it does actually help keep the oil maintained. So it's not, your face isn't really shiny and you don't feel that like oily cakey feeling that I, I get that a lot around my nose a lot. I get that and I hate that. Um, so yeah, I've been using this in January and I've actually really, really liked it. It has controlled the like oiliness around my face and stuff like that really, really well. Um, if you are an oily person, this is perfect. Um, I think it came in a couple of like tints or whatever. I just got the clear one, but I think there was like a nude, maybe one as well if you wanted something like that. And you can put this under your makeup, over your makeup, just when you don't want to wear makeup. It's great for all that and I really, really like it a lot. It's something you probably are going to possibly laugh at if you guys watched my last, uh, was it January? Yeah, it would have been January Ipsy bag. Um, because I like didn't really like this, the look of this, um, but I actually really, really like the product. Um, this is the Eco Beauty by La Fresh Group uh, Good Day Day Moisturizer. Um, this is actually really nice. It says fresher and happier skin. Um, this is, you, like I said, you guys are probably laughing right now because I really thought the packaging was weird and I still think the packaging is weird. However, I was thinking it's better than, uh, you know, having to rip off the corner or whatever and it making a big mess than having this little nozzle thing. I still wish that kind of came in more of a squeeze tube or like a little pot or something like that. But this is actually really, really nice. Um, it is uh, highly natural, biodegradable formula, cur cruelty free, and it is made in California. Um, but it's actually really nice. Um, it's a good moisturizing. It does moisturize well, as well as I feel like when I put it on, I usually put on a cream before I put makeup on, and this is what I've been using in January. Um, and it just kind of makes your skin feel refreshed and like it can breathe really nicely. Um, I get that kind of like refreshed, almost like mint feeling, although there is absolutely no scent to this. However, sometimes I feel like when I'm putting it on, I smell like a slight cucumber smell. I don't know if there's actually a cucumber in it. It doesn't really say much about what's in it on the back or anything like that, but it is really, really nice. It's also supposed to help, I think, with anti-aging and wrinkles and all that stuff too, so I'm sure it's probably gonna do good for me there. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so don't really like the packaging, but I actually really, really, really like the product. My favorite is an eyeliner. Um, in crack Christmas, actually no, for my birthday. I haven't done a birthday haul. If you guys like to see a birthday haul and what I got for my birthday, my birthday's at the beginning of January, um, let me know. Uh, but I got from my mother-in-law these two like Clinique kits. Um, it had a couple of things like an eyeshadow, a mascara, an eyeliner, a lipstick type of thing. Um, she gets them for me every year and I really love them. Um, I love Clinique so it's something that I don't mind getting. Um, but this was something that was in it and I love my black eyeliner but sometimes when I wear like nude looks or just like brown looks like today for instance, um, I like a brown eyeliner rather than a black eyeliner. I feel like black can be a little bit harsh, a little bit too dark sometimes. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But this is the... Um, uh, one of the eyeliners that came in one of those kits and I really really like it. This is Clinique's quicker for eye intense Sorry quick liner for eyes intense is what it says on it and this is intense sable um, It's just a like kind of darkish brown and here's the top there too. I kind of like these twisty eyeliner tops rather than just like a pencil. Um, I feel like you get more color off of these than you do a pencil. But I, I am wearing it today. Um, it is look very nice. It smudges really nicely. Like when you want to really have like that smoky smudge eye. I really like that. Um, so it does that really well. Um, it does have good pigmentation and all that stuff. So yeah, I really, really have been loving this in January. And probably continue to because I really like it. I don't know. 
I've just been really getting into more brown eyeliners. Favorite is something that I've talked about before in previous videos and didn't really like, and I still am a little bit skeptical about. Um, I don't feel like that it is the best product I've ever used type of thing. However, Joelle sent me a cute little Christmas gift in the mail, and thank you very much, Joelle. I know I've already thanked you before, and there will be something coming your way, Joelle. I really have been so busy. I actually have bought a card and everything for you, and it will get to you, I promise. I just don't know when. I'm really, really sorry, but there will be something coming your way, Joelle. Um, but anyway, so this was something she sent me. This is the EOS Lip Balm, and I think... Shoot, I don't remember what the scent is, but it's the scent that I love so much about it. It's like, I think it's wild berry or passion berry or something like that. It smells really, really good. I do think that the packaging is kind of cute. Here is what it looks like. You guys all know what an EOS lip balm is. And then I think that, I don't remember them having like these little wings around the EOS. I don't know, I think that's kind of cute, but this smells so, so good. Like literally I can just sit here and smell it all day. It's kind of got like a very fruity sort of sour scent to it and I love it. I have been using it. I don't know, you can't really tell. I have been using it, but yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the EOS lip balms. I get really, really chapped lips in the winter time and um, I don't really find that this moisturizes enough. I feel like if I am wearing this, I have to reapply it like every hour or so because it just doesn't really moisturize. I like a thick, uh, chapstick or lip chap, whatever you want to call it, um, for my lips just because I do find that they get super dry in the winter time. But anyways, I do really love the scent of that. If you're looking for a new EOS lip balm, the scent of this is amazing. It's definitely a very like summery spring scent. It's nice. I have one more beauty product here. This is something I talked about in my Christmas what I got for Christmas video. Um, and it's something I really, really love. Now, lately, I haven't really been doing my nails in January at all. I don't think I did them at all. Um, I've been trying to let them like grow and heal. They were getting a little bit yellow, even though I use base coat like every time I do my nails, I just still find it with, they're starting to kind of yellow. So I just thought I'd, you know, I was just using like a healthy, like, um, therapy coat on my nails just so that they still stay strong um, but that's all I've been doing but anyways this is something I got for Christmas um, in November I haven't really talked about it because I just haven't I don't know <laughs> but I really really love it actually um, it is called the Salon Express here's the little dabber thing so you get these little um, like stencils. Here's what they look like. Sorry about the glare. Oh gosh, glaring, glaring. You guys can probably see yourself. Um, but anyways, you get these little stencils. You get uh, one, two, three, four, five with the kit. Um, it is an as seen on TV item if you uh, are looking in for some for it and need a particular area. Um, I know Walmart carries as seen on TV. There's also as seen on TV stores. Uh, but anyway, so you get these little um, stencil type of things. You put the nail polish on it, then you take this little scraper thing right here, and you scrape off the excess nail polish, and then you take the dabber, you dab it onto the image, and then carefully dab it onto your finger. I have worn it a couple of times. If I find a photo, I do, I, I know I did a Christmas one. I will put it around my head here somewhere so you guys can see it. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and see all the nail ideas that I do. Uh, right now, Instagram is not working for me. Hopefully they fix it soon. I don't know, they didn't update about the videos or something not working and now it, Instagram doesn't work at all for me. Yay, Instagram, way to go guys. Anyways. <laughs> Let's stop talking about that. Um, anyways, so yeah, this is a really, really neat idea. If you're somebody who isn't really um, very good with like art, you're not an artistic people, you're not person, I mean, and you just want something simple to do, this is really simple, really easy, super fun. All you have to do uh, when you get this is just kind of buff the rubber dabber thing. So there is actually two, there's a small one and a big one, so you can do nail, uh, fingers and toes. Um, but yeah, you just have to buff the end a little bit just so that the, the polish will stick to it a little better. 
Um, and then yeah, it works great. I love it a lot. Do not, I will recommend, do not get the actual one that you slide the uh, nail polish thingy or the scraper back and forth. That one doesn't work. I've tried every different technique. I've tried buffing the heck out of the little rubber pad and nothing works, so don't get that one. This is the one to get and it is awesome. I love it. Um, as well as too, it came with these little gems and I haven't really been one to get into like the 3D nails just because what I do for work, I feel like they would just fall off and get really gross and whatnot. So I really haven't been doing a lot of that. Uh, but the, the, the nail, or sorry, the Salon Express came with a little like wheel that has little gems in it. And I actually didn't really mind these because they are small. They obviously still stick up on your nails, but they're small so they don't really get too gunked up or um I do find like I I say the last time I wore one um it lasted probably the whole week before it fell off. The Salon Express came with this one. I also have two others too that I actually bought offline and I've really been liking these. They just kind of give a little bit of an added touch to your nail and they're not like I said too big. They don't get too gross or anything like that. Um, like I really feel like if I were to wear something bigger than these that they would be terrible. Um, like I feel like they would either fall off like instantly, um, especially with my job, or they just get really gross and like unsanitary. <laughs> um, sorry if everybody's not like that, but I am and I don't like that. Thing, beauty. I have one thing that is a sort of beauty that I want to talk about. I know a lot of people have these, um, but my husband bought me this for my birthday and I absolutely love it a lot. Um, this is called True a, a mirror basically is what it is. It's a 360 mirror. Here's the box. I was gonna bring the whole thing over, but I figured the box, you can understand what it is. Um, I've really been loving this. I know a lot of people own these, um, but I recently got one and I love it a lot. Um, and so I thought I would talk about it. Um, so yeah, mine has a light in it that has a couple different like light settings. It has four. Um, it's kind of like night, like when you're in the house and there's, I don't remember the other ones were. Um, it is also 10 times magnification. Um, there, so there's two different sizes. There's like a normal side and then you flip it over and it's like, you have to get really, really close to it. And it's like, wow, zoom in, right? But it's really cool. I really love it. Um, yeah, this is by Con Air too, if you guys are wondering. Uh, but yeah, it's called True Glow, this one. Um, I believe my husband bought it this at Target. Um, if you are in Canada, I would go get it ASAP if you want it because I don't know if everybody knows, but Target is going out of business. I feel horrible about it because first of all, I love Target. And second of all, being that Zellers went out of business and then Target came in and kind of um, helped out the employees from Zellers and like kind of gave them a job and now they're losing their job again. Um, the Target here where I live, there were 200 people employed there and they're all gonna lose their jobs. Um, I think I've heard May 16th is the last day. Um, they've already started liquidating as of uh, last Thursday, I do believe. And yeah, I feel horrible about it. I think it sucks. I loved Target. I will miss Target when it's not here anymore. Um, I think even if like something like Walmart comes here, I think that it just won't be the same. I really loved Target. I'm super actually disappointed that Target is leaving um, because I loved it a lot and I will miss Can it. Can you my favorites? I guess I will do my little random guy here. Um, this guy is probably going to glare and possibly even shine a lot because he is like a mirror. Um, but I thought I'd show him because I think it's adorable and I love it. I bought it actually, believe it or not, at the dollar store because to me this doesn't really look like a dollar store. This looks like more like Target. Um, but it is so cute. It is a little piggy bank that has a cute little crown on it. And yes, it is mirroring everything. You can see everything on him. But he is so cute, or she, I guess, is so cute. It has the little crown. It's even got little gems in the crown, which I think is so adorable. But isn't she cute? I love her so much. She is adorable. She looks awesome in my mirror, or in my mirror, in my room, I mean. And I love it so much. So random, I know. And it is a piggy bank as well, but I don't use it as that. I just use it as decoration. Move into my candle favorites. Um, so I've sort of like gone away from uh, Scentsy this month, this past month. I don't really know why. I think it's just because I put my Scentsy away and kind of forgot about it. Uh, but however, um, 
I do have a candle favorite here, but I do want to talk to you guys about Scentsy. Um, uh, me and my Scentsy consultant, who I will give her information all down below so you can check out her website and stuff um, and see what I'm about to tell you. Um, me and her have partnered up kind of. We are, I am now doing um, a new video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it um, as well as for her and her customers. Um, I'm going to be reviewing scents, new scents, old scents, all kinds of scents. Um, I will be getting the new catalog very soon too for spring and summer, which I'm excited about. Um, I don't know if I'll be reviewing warmers. Um, I'll have to talk to her about that. Maybe I can review the warmer of the month or something like that with, along with the scents that I get. Um, she has given me so far five scents to review. Um, I will be doing that probably the end of February, hopefully. Um, I am, like I said, I am really super busy. I might miss a week at the end of February, possibly the weekend just before uh, March because I have a lot of work to do, especially with the baby shower coming. Um, so I might miss that, but hopefully I will get that in by the end of February. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Let me know if you will enjoy it or you think you will enjoy it. Um, let me know maybe what your favorite scents are and I can ask her if I can review those scents. Um, you can let me know in the comments below or you can tweet me. Either way, I will get them. And yeah, so I just want to let you guys know that that is a new video coming on my channel um, uh, for you guys and for her. Um, so like we said, we kind of partnered up. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I'm obviously didn't pay for these scents. She's given me little samples to try, um, but I'm not sponsored by them. Maybe one day I will be. That would be fantastic if Scentsy would sponsor me because I love Scentsy. I think it's an amazing product. I think it is awesome. I love the scents. I love the bath and body stuff. I love it all and I would really love to be sponsored but I'm not so far I'm just partnering partnering up with my Sensi's consultant um her name is Allie Black if you guys want to go search her up now um but I will put her information her website and all and even her Facebook page possibly down below so you guys can go check her out and film the Sensi review I will upload it and I will let her know and she will put it probably on her Facebook page as well as on her website so you can go watch it there too if you want anyways so my candle or scent of the month this month is actually something from Target's like dollar bin um it was three bucks but it's in like the dollar bin um and this is the sizzling hot candle um I think that the packaging is really really adorable so here's the lid and then all around it says like love xox it's really cute got hearts and everything but this actually smells really really good it is um it's like a cinnamon heart but it's like a light smell it's not strong it's not super super cinnamony um but it's just enough. I really, really, really like this. Um, obviously, it would be great for Valentine's Day with the whole love and X's and O's and all that stuff. And I do like the pack, the actual like tin too. It's in like this little gray tin, which I think is kind of like vintage retro type of look, which I like. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. Um, I don't know. Obviously, like I said, Target's going out of business, so I don't know if anything I talk about from now to May, you'll be still be able to get in Canada. Um, I mean, obviously, if you are in the States, you probably will be able to still get it. Uh, but pick up this candle if you like cinnamon and if you like it, if you don't like super strong candle scents, because this is actually really, really nice. Um, and my husband does, it doesn't even bother him in a lot of scents that I do have tends to make him kind of stuffed up and stuff, and this doesn't. This is really, really nice light cinnamon smell. Now let's move it. into my song favorites. Okay, so my song favorites are popular songs right now, um, and I don't care. <laughs> I will admit that I kind of do enjoy a lot of the more popular songs, and obviously they in they can get annoying too after a while, and I do find that um, if people play them way too much on the radio or on TV or whatever. But these two songs I've really been loving. They have been on repeat, um, mostly on my computer because I haven't updated my iPod in a couple of months now. Um, but I will put them on there eventually. 
but I've been like, every time I'm like putting my makeup on or just doing some baby shower stuff or something like that, I have been turning these songs on repeat. I love them. Um, the first one is Ellie Golding, Love Me Like You Do. I do believe that that song is, was made for the new Fifty Shades of Grey movie, which is coming out like next week, I think already. Um, I did not read the books. I think I might be interested in actually watching the movie. I don't know. Um, maybe I can convince my husband to watch that one with me. I don't know. Um, but anyways, and then the other song is Taylor Swift, Blank Space. I don't know. I'm not a big Taylor Swift person. I know there's a lot of people out there that are that don't hate me for it. I'm just not a big Taylor Swift person. I don't really like her in general. Um, she seems like a very nice girl and all. I just kind of, I don't know, feel like she's kind of annoying or whatever. But anyways, um, I love that song. It is such an addicting song. Literally, you listen to it and you cannot get it out of your head for like weeks. I love that song a lot. Um, and yeah, so those have been my two favorite uh, songs in January. I will put links to them down below. I'm sure you've all heard them. As I said, they are popular songs. However, I do believe Love Me Like You Do like just came out or like the video or whatever just came out um, recently because obviously Fifty Shades of Grey movie is coming out. Soon. I have an app favorite. Now I'm not sure if I've talked about this or not, but my mom has gotten me addicted to this game and I thought I'd finally talk about it if I haven't already. If I have, I'm sorry, but literally I have been playing this like nonstop. When I have internet that is, because you need internet to play this game for some reason, I'm not sure why, because you could totally play this game without the internet. But anyways, um, and it is called Heyday. It is like, kind of like Farmville, but like better graphics, better quests, better like goals and stuff like that. Um, and it's really neat. I don't know. I kind of like more of the um, time management type games and that's what this kind of is. I'm going to open it up really quickly just to show you kind of like what it, the overview of what it looks like. Um, but yeah, it's addicting. You obviously do farming and you have animals you have to take care of and you have to fill orders for like the town and also for people in town and you can sell stuff to your friends which is probably the reason why you need the internet because you do have to connect it to like your Twitter or your Facebook. Um, but anyways, it's addicting. Here is the front page right here. It says heyday and it's just loading up right now. Um, you get to like make a name of your farm and it's, I don't know, it's addicting. And if you're not into farm type games or time management games, you're probably not gonna like it, but I do and I find it super addicting. I'm just waiting to see if my farm is going to come up here in a minute and I'll show you what my farm looks like kind of. Um, it is not a huge farm, my farm right now. I'm not that high. I'm only level 30. Um, I know my mom is like in like the 50s or the 60s in the levels. Um, but here's the, my house there and you can see my little dog house and everything that's sitting there. And my dogs are now eating because I've opened up the screen and they're like, oh, you've, you've given me food. It's a fun game. It's like I said, it's definitely very much like the Facebook game Farmville. Um, just better graphics and a little bit better uh, like goals and stuff. You can also like go fishing in this. And I believe that you have you can actually go into town eventually. Um, I like have your own like stores and stuff like that. But I, I again haven't reached that level yet. I know my mom has. Um, but it's cool. Anyways. Now I will talk quickly about some fashion favorites, some things, um, again, that will probably end up being in a haul video, but I've been loving in January and I really want to show you guys. Um, so the first one, I have two scarves. This one I know I have recently worn. Uh, the other one I actually have recently worn too. This was from dresslink.com and it is a infinity scarf and it has this like two-tone light gray, dark gray in it and it's really pretty. It's super, super soft. It is obviously as you can see a knitted scarf and it's really pretty um but it's super super soft literally you put this on and you just want to like cuddle up and fall asleep because it's just so soft um it's really really nice quality material I really like dress link I know it is a China like based website kind of like I don't really know if it's knockoff stuff or not but I don't know I haven't found that every anything I've gotten there has been really cheap or bad quality or anything like that everything's been really nice um the other scarf I got off of Hot Topic um if you guys know I'm kind of a Disney 
freak. Um, I don't like all the Disney characters, but I do have a lot of Disney stuff. I have almost all the Disney movies. I love Tinkerbell. I think she's amazing. You've probably seen her on my shelf before. Uh, but this is a Disney like princess scarf. Um, it has different like quotes and sayings and stuff that Disney princesses have said. Um, so it's got these words obviously. And then you can also see there's like Jasmine and Sleeping Beauty and Ariel and uh, who else is on here? Cinderella. Um, there's just like kind of silhouettes of them, but it's really, really pretty. Um, it's super -de duper -de long. I can't even show you how long it is in the camera here. It's huge, um, but it's really, again, it's nice and soft. Um, it's and it's cushiony um, and yeah it's nice it's lightweight too but because there's so much fabric I do feel like it can be a little bit hot um, but it's really pretty and I am a Disney freak so I obviously had to have it it was actually one of the more popular items on Hot Topic too so if you do want one you best hurry up and get one because I don't know how long they'll be on the Hot Topic website Hot Topic also is having a lot of uh, sales recently too so if you do like something I know they've had like 50% off international shipping lately and like buy one get ones type of stuff and like 50% off jeans and things like that. Um, anyways, the next item here I have, I actually have kind of two. One is a pin and one is a shirt, um, but I'll talk about the shirt first. Um, the shirt I got from uh, Dresslink and it's just this um, kind of in a way fleece but not quite I guess flannel is maybe the word um, it is green red and yellow and blue uh, plaid and it's really really nice it has a nice like collar to it uh, which I do like and it's really nice it's warm um, but yeah I don't know I've been kind of liking the like plaid shirt over like a plain t-shirt type of look lately um, and they, like I said this is really comfortable it is nice and warm um, because it is like a flannel so it's a thicker material Material. Uh, but yeah, I know I really really like this shirt a lot. Um, the thing that is a pin that is on it is a Mockingjay pin. I recently bought this Mocking ba Mockingjay pin at on uh, Hot Topic. Hot Topic does have a lot of themed um, items. So Hunger Games is one. There's Disney obviously. There's like gamer guy gamer stuff. So like different games like Call of Duty and Minecraft, which you guys know I love, um, and that type of stuff. So it's kind of a really neat website. Uh, however, I do believe it's actually a physical store in the States, so I'm sure a lot of people in the States know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I really like this. I really wanted a Mockingjay pin. I'm kind of that person who likes movie memorabilia I guess um, and being that I do go see I have seen them all so far it'll be something I definitely will be wearing to the last um, Hunger Games series movie which is what Mockingjay part two um, and yeah so I will definitely be wearing this and I really love it um, I have a keychain too which I've showed before um, that's very similar to that and I love it too. but not least I have a few food favorites yes I know I said a few I have a lot less than I usually do I will start off with my nature box uh, three of the nature box products this month um, we have recently uh, been told that we can now pick our what we want in our box which is really awesome but this was January's and we didn't get to pick this one but there were still some really good things in this one. The first one was uh, my, the cranberry petit, uh, pe pepita crisps. I can't really read or pronounce that but here's what the packaging obviously looks like. Um, they were kind of like little brown um, like chips type of thing um, but they're really really good. I like cranberries. Um, so yeah, it says cranberry and pumpkin seed pita crisps is what it is, the description there of it. Um, yeah, they were really, really good. Obviously, uh, Nature Box is a healthy option, snack option. Um, so these were obviously very good for you. Again, you don't want to eat the whole bag in one sitting. Uh, but you know, having like a handful of them is really good. Um, the next one is the whole wheat lemon figgy bars. These are actually really, really good. I like lemon stuff. Um... It doesn't really give you a description, but it's kind of like, they were basically like Nutri-Grain bars, but like healthier and um, the flavoring was very good actually. I like it. If you like lemon, you will like these. Um, but yeah, they basically look like little granola bar type things and they were soft and chewy and yummy. My last nature box item that I really liked was the South Pacific plantains, um, plantain chips with sea salt. 
These are actually really, really good. I was a little bit skeptical because I have gotten the garlic plantains before and they kind of were like, ugh. They weren't that nice. So when I got these, I was just kind of like, oh no, not again. But they were actually really, really good. They don't taste like bananas, right? I have this one thing that I always thought plantains actually tasted like a banana, but they don't really have much flavor. And just a nice like salting, like our flavor of salt was really, really nice. And I really, really like these. I have two more snacks. This one I have been taking for lunch. Um, I love Triscuits. I know Triscuits have been out for years, but I love Triscuits. And I recently tried this. I don't think it's a new flavor, but I just recently saw it in the store not too long ago and had never seen it before. Um, and this is the dill, sea salt, and olive oil. These are really, really good. If you like dill, these are good. They're not like overpowering with dill, but they have just like the just enough dill that they're actually really really good. Um, I obviously have a little bit of cheese with them as well. Um, and yeah, they're really 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 good. If you are a dill fan, these will be a favorite. My last food favorite is something that is kind of neat to me. I never really had seen them before and when I did I liked them. I These are the cheese dippers but these are the laughing cow. Uh, form of cheese dippers like I've tried the like normal like cheese whiz with cracker type of ones you get like in the snack packs uh, but yeah I recently saw these and I thought I'd try them I really like the laughing cow cheese and it just comes with these little like bread sticks and they're really really good um they're only a hundred calories two for one pack which is pretty darn good and yeah I, I think they were awesome I thought it was cute the little packaging too I will put a picture of the packaging actually around me here so you guys can see what they look like but this is what they come in and I believe yeah four come in a box and yeah, they were really good and they weren't too overly priced. I think they were like two or three dollars. Uh, so yeah, I really like them. Anyways, guys, that is it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, if you do a January favorites video, please leave your link down below in the comments and I will totally watch the video because I love favorites videos. As well as if you don't do videos, you can just let me know in the comments a few of your favorite things that were happened in January or you got in January or you used in January. And I will, I would be happy to read what you like and maybe I'll get something new for February. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I will see you guys all in my next video. Oh.